I need to find somewhere else. Oh, it's already 8.23. I washed my face with the O-C-O-S-E-A facial cleanser. Um, it feels so good. And then I put on vitamin C. I honestly use whatever vitamin C I have. I just ran out of the drunk elephant vitamin C. So I'm just using what I have, which is the ordinary vitamin C. I am also so pale right now. I don't have any tanner on anywhere, which feels honestly good. But I did just get the St. Tropez Ashley Graham self-tan and I'm going to put this on Sunday night um, because I have an appointment on Tuesday that I want to be tanned for. It's for my hair. Maybe it's just a pro tip, but I always do a coat of self-tanner for my hair appointments. So I got a new one because I'm so excited for this appointment. Oh, I also got, let me show you because I really use this one. So normally I use the um, Soap and Glory Righteous Body Butter. I use the lotion and the shower gel while I ran out of this. It doesn't look like it's out, but I can't really get much more out, but I didn't throw it away yet because it's obviously not empty. But I went on Ulta the other night to reorder it and they didn't have that one that I normally use, so I got a different one. I got the Magnificoco drop in the lotion, the body weight lotion, or the body weight, the lightweight body lotion and the shower gel. And I'm obsessed, obsessed with how this smells. Oh my God, it just smells amazing. Like literally to die for, it smells so good. And I got this perfume while we're at it. I got this perfume for Christmas, the Mason Louis Marie number no. four. And I really like it because I have so many like sweet smelling perfumes because I really like the smell of like vanilla, sugary, sweet sort of stuff. I guess I've never grown up. But this one, oh my God, it's just so mature and pretty. It's like vetiver and very clean. Like it just smells super clean. So this um, in combination with that, Body lotion because that's like coconut. Oh my god, it's like beachy and beautiful. And this perfume, I don't think is that expensive. I think it's like um, forty. No, not forty. I think it's like eighty dollars, which compared to a perfume, isn't that bad. I'm gonna take my clip out right now, actually. Today is like a day that I'm pretty much it's fried all day, um, which is great. And then this morning, I just have like a couple of things that. I just want to finish up before I go to the studio. Um, we're doing our holiday party tomorrow, which it's obviously late, like we're doing it in January, just because December is typically really busy for people. Um, so we wanted to do it later. So we have that tomorrow, and then that's really it this weekend is the holiday party. We'll probably like do that at the studio. We're having it at the studio, and then our studio is like right near like downtown of Phoenixville, which is like the town it's in. So we'll probably go to bars after for a little bit. I'm doing dry January, which has been awesome. I'm really liking it. Um, not that I drink a ton anyway, um, but it does just honestly feel good to have an excuse as to why you're not drinking because I find that a lot of the time if I'm like, oh no, I'm not drinking, like just casually like no i don't want to drink it's always like well why just have a drink just have a drink and it's really annoying because it's like number one like why do you care if i have a drink so much like i don't want to drink so that's fine but like you can have a drink if you want like i don't need to have one just because you're having one you know what i mean but with dry january it just gives like the excuse that for whatever reason people accept so i'll just be like oh yeah i'm doing dry january like i'm not gonna have a drink and everyone's like oh okay but so weird how when like some excuses for like drinking are acceptable and not it's just weird and like i've also never just been a big drinker so for me not doing dry january is like or me doing dry january has been incredibly easy to be honest 
I'll show you guys my makeup because I'm going to do a little bit of makeup today. The other day, I was getting ready for spin and I put on a little bit of makeup, which I like never really do anymore. Um, and I put on makeup and I felt like really good when I put on this makeup, right? And, and then I went to like record a clip that I ended up not, not uploading. But I ended up recording a clip and in the clip I was like, oh yeah, this is my makeup that I feel like doing because blah, blah, blah. And I started to justify it and then I was like, who am I to justify if I want to put on makeup? Like pre-pandemic, I put on makeup every single day. And then obviously since the pandemic, I just kind of got in the habit of not putting on makeup every day. So when I do put on makeup, which is like maybe once a week if I do makeup, I really don't wear makeup a lot. And I also don't wear makeup a lot because... I'm in this whole like, ooh, I don't wear makeup. And it's like a superiority complex. And I'm like, dude, number one, I don't get a medal for not wearing makeup. Like, that's super lame that I like brag about not wearing makeup. Like, it doesn't make me better than anyone, cooler than anyone, and I don't get a freaking medal for not wearing makeup. So if I want to wear makeup, I'm going to wear makeup. That's my rant about myself. Um, because it's so lame that I do that. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I don't, I don't wear makeup. Like, Okay, I'm wearing a little bit of makeup today and I'm gonna show you what my makeup is because I really like it. It's really easy, it's really quick, and it's really natural. And I find that I have a really hard time doing makeup when my face isn't tan because I'm just like, what products do I use? Um, but I actually have like products that I really like when I don't really have a tan. I have to leave here at 10.15. So I need to start getting ready at 9.45. And it is 8.30. Okay. I love when the sunshine comes in. So pretty. We're going to ground as we move. So I want you to take a big inhale. Fill yourself up. Reach those arms up overhead. Can I stay focused on one thing? Why was it that I just went to go make oatmeal and suddenly I had to clean the countertop and do my dishes? All I'm trying to do is make some oatmeal. I haven't had my hair natural in so long. I've been blow drying it like straight for the past uh, couple of months. This has been my breakfast as of late. So I have a coconut yogurt on the left side and I have a quarter cup of oats with water on the bottom. And then I topped it with strawberry, blueberry, coconut, and agave. It's so good. It's just like fruit and yogurt, but with a little bit of grit because I like to add the quarter cup of oats on days that I'm feeling extra hungry, which is today. Um. Okay, I'm gonna show you my makeup that I do when I want to wear a little bit, but I don't want to do a full face and I'm pale. Okay. Niche, but I think a lot of us girls can relate to that. So the sunscreen that I use, I'm obsessed with. I got it from a tutorial that I saw. Um, I also think tutorials are coming back. They're hot again. Okay. So this is the dermatology universal tinted moisturizer with SPF 46. So it's a tint, but it doesn't actually like give you color just it's like a sheen and I like to put in a couple drops of the drunk elephant anti-pollution sunshine drops so I do two drops of the sunscreen okay whatever it's not focusing but it's sheen and then a little bit of the pollution drops mix Every time I watch back videos, it looks like I'm like actually like beating my face and I'm like, wow, I need to just go lighter on myself, like pressure wise. But in real life, it doesn't feel heavy. So I don't know. Then I'm going to use a little bit of, <clears throat> then I'm going to use a little bit of concealer. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. And on days that I don't wear a lot of makeup, I really just like to put it on my inner corner and out here okay and a little around my nose that's really it and then i take bum, bum, bum. 
this brush. I don't know what it is. There's nothing on it. You can use a beauty blender or a finger. It does not matter. So that's that. And I'm actually just going to set it heavily with bake powder and a dry beauty blender, which I normally don't do this anymore. But I want my inner corners to be really bright. Okay, then I'm going to go in with bronzer. I also bought this from the tutorial that I watched. I'll link it down below. So pretty. The girl was so funny. I think her name was Hannah or Anna, one of the two. This is a Morphe M530 brush and the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer in number two. I'm obsessed with this bronzer and I don't know what I did before it. It works beautifully when you're pale and when you're tan, which is so hard to find a bronzer like that. So I put this on my forehead. And because I had like, I put down the SPF before, it's a little tacky. So this will, it's not like tacky where like my brush hairs are getting stuck on my face. Like that gives me a gross visual. But it's like grippy to where like this is sticking. It's not like I'm just putting powder on dry skin. You know what I mean? This, I just do a little bit to make me not look dead. I Here's where I've grown up. I used to put on bronzer to make me look super tan all the time, but now I just do it so I don't look dead. And I think I'm growing up, I really do. For blush, this is also how I know I've grown up. I wear blush now, but it's because I found the right shade of blush. Honestly, before this blush, a lot of times I would skip it just because I never liked how it looked on me. But once you find the right blush, you realize that it actually does good things for you. So this I also bought from that tutorial. I'm not kidding. That tutorial was awesome. Go watch it. Oh, I'm going to also link another video below that I watched last night that I was literally cracking up at. So funny. It's like a two hour video and it's called like an, an apologetically unhinged recap of Pretty Little Liars or something so funny. I literally watched the whole thing and I was cracking up. Um, I think I'm going to listen to part two in the car on my way to stride because it was just so funny. Anyway, so this is the Charlotte Tilbury cheek to chic blusher in the shade pillow talk. Okay. I'm kind of out of the makeup game these days. Is it like, is there a pillow talk line? Why is everything called pillow talk? Like, I feel like every shade you pick up, it's like, oh, pillow talk, oh, pillow talk, oh, pillow talk. There must be a line, right? Anyway, this blush is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Once you find the right blush, the world opens up for you. I literally put this everywhere, like, as if it's bronzer. And then I just sort of like buff it back in with my bronzer. I'll be honest, I was a little careless just now because I think I'm a little carried away with this video. I normally don't put it so heavily on the front of my cheeks. I normally work it back here a little bit more. So I'm gonna do that. And But I always bring it up on my forehead and always on my nose, especially in the winter. It's really cute. Um, okay, blend, 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 blah, blah, blah. And on days like today when I'm just doing like a quick, easy, natural little glam moment. I don't do highlighter because then it looks like I'm wearing makeup. <laughs> Again, here I am thinking I get a medal for wearing natural makeup. And then obviously you just wipe away the bake and that's kind of when you return back to normal. And now I just feel like I just look so awake. I'm setting my eyebrows with an eyebrow gel. My blush looks a little crazy right now. Maybe it's because it's on camera. I'll admit, it looks a little crazy right now. Then I'm going to take Max Nylon, which is like, this will never change. This will never change for me. Never. This girl is staying with me forever. And I just put her in the inner corner. I'm using Benefit 
they're real. And it's just like a little, but it helps. See, doesn't that look better now? For lips, you might laugh at me, but I've been in this huge, like, girly kick where I just want to do my makeup really girly and really cute and, like, I want to, like, be girly. You know what I mean? So, Hot Pink Lip Gloss has been absolutely calling my name lately. And this is, like, the funniest lip gloss ever because if you guys know me, you know I'm obsessed with The Real Housewives. Like, all the franchises I'm obsessed with. Um, I was in, like, a heavy, heavy love affair with Beverly Hills this summer and so I bought Rena Beauty. <laughs> I love Re Lisa Rena. Um, on, I love everyone to be honest. Like I love every single person that's ever been on Housewives. Well, I don't know about that, but I love everyone. It's like, I don't normally like dislike anyone, but I especially love Lisa Vanderpump. And when Lisa Vanderpump left, I was like upset because like that's my girl, like I love her. So I bought the Lisa Rena lip gloss that was named after Vanderpump, which I think is so funny because they hate each other. Apparently I'll show anyway, but I think they actually did in real life. Like Lisa kind of left like on actual bad terms. So I think they actually don't like each other anyway, but it's called, um, not so heavy crown lip gloss, which is so funny because if you know, you obviously know, um, but it's like this neon pink because obviously LVP loves neon pink and she always has like a neon pink lip gloss too. She loves anything pink. So when I saw this, I was like, oh my God, my two favorite people together. And it's so funny. I mean, it doesn't show up neon pink and like bright pink on your lips, but it's girly and it's really cute. And I like it. I just think it's like super cute and girly. Okay, I think this is like better lighting of my makeup. Clearly doesn't look as crazy. With the blush or maybe i'm just crazy and i'm just getting used to blush but all the hot girls have been on blush for years not me middle school called they want their outfit back um i'm literally just wearing a stride sea isle sweatshirt favorite ever it's like in sand it's the best and then these are aloe legging or aloe yoga yoga pants and I love them. I'm obsessed with them. Um, literally, one of my employees was wearing this exact outfit the other day. And now I'm wearing it. I even ordered the pants. Um, but yeah, I like these. I'll have these linked down below. They're nice. I guess kids call them flared leggings. But they're yoga pants. And then, um, I guess these are the hot girl shoe, huh? But I've had these. I've had these bad boys. Yeah, they're the mini Uggs in chestnut. Um, but I've been on these. And I've been wearing these. I've been wearing these Uggs. I've been on this grind. Now I gotta make a cappuccino and get out of the door. I actually have some time. I'm not gonna bring my camera because we already had our whole morning together, which was beautiful. And I loved our morning together. But all good things must come to an end. Here's a life tip. If you have a Wawa near you, and if you don't have to go cups, just steal Wawa's. <laughs> I, didn't act, I didn't actually steal it, but I guess I did because they didn't charge me for it. But I'll show you how I make it. Follow me. <laughs> okay, so the milk is steaming. The espresso is poured. And I put it in my Wawa cup because I need to take this to go with me. So here's my espresso. Here's my steamed milk. I do oat milk with a little dash of this sugar-free vanilla. You know I'll link it. And I hate doing it in like long cups like this. You know, I don't get people that are like, no foam. Girl, give me all the foam. I love the foam. And you get a really delicious looking cappuccino. I'm a fucking fighting girl. Okay. Guys, sincerely, thank you for spending the morning with me. This was like 
every every morning is different for me, but this was like a good morning. I had a great time. <laughs> Spent it with you. I got to watch YouTube videos. I did my little workout. I made a cappuccino. It was a great morning. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.